Now that we have it hung, we're going to start adding our 5 inch balloons. Um, I do recommend inflating these in advance. The 5 inch ones take the longest and I find that a lot of people don't put them all on because they get to the step and they're like rushing and I kind of notice that a lot of times there's only a few on there. So I would just do this early on, have it done and then that way when you get to this step it's just boom, boom, boom. One of the things I prefer doing it this way is because I can make clusters of three and four. Um, it makes adding the five inch balloons so much faster than doing them individually at one at a time. So uh, right now I'm just gonna go ahead. This is bad, even that. Too big, too big, too big, too big. So again, I'm gonna deflate them, let them air out. I want them round, about the size of a fist, really. So that. So I have a little set of three, set that aside. Um, if I want to do a cluster of four, just kind of use the wrap method. Okay, so if you have watched any of our videos before, you've seen kind of the different ways that we attach five inch balloons, um, glue dots, uh, 260 twisters, ribbon. Um, I actually discovered this other way. Um, a few other balloon artists are doing it with rubber bands and it is amazing. Um, it saves your fingers from tying all the 260s and cutting them up. So we are actually gradually going to be switching everything over to using rubber bands because it makes this step go a thousand times faster. So you're gonna take one of your rubber bands, pop around one of your five inch balloons like so. Um, I do this a little different than I've seen and I think this just makes it a little easier. So I'm gonna figure out where I want this, probably right here. I wanna take this, keep that together, wrap it around. So I'm gonna have you come around, go ahead, yep. Like so. So you just kinda wrap it around your thread in the middle here. And then I'm gonna open it back up like this. I'm gonna go back over my five inch balloon. This still gives you a lot of like movement. I can move this around now wherever I need it to go. But it's so easy to do it that way. Cool. So another way to do it that's just as easy is to just take this and go right around an 11 inch balloon. Um, these stretch quite a bit so you can definitely do that. Um, just kind of depends on how much length you're dealing with. Oops, it doesn't want to move where I want it to. There we go. Like so. So both ways work really well. Um, I do them both. It just depends on how tight I want it or um, the area that it's in and how secure I need it to be. This this has a little bit more play and stretch, but sometimes you need that. Sometimes there's, there's uh, it's a lot deeper in here, so sometimes you do need that extra room for that. So you'll have a few extras of these little guys um, just because they can break sometimes. Just be careful not to pull on them too hard. Um, I've done it before. I just snapped one actually. Um, you'll also have a few of these longer, thicker ones. Just save these till the end. Um, those kind of come in handy in case you're having some trouble with some of the spots. Um, some of the spots are deeper. They're farther away, so they need a little bit longer band. That in there, like so. So as you can see, as we're adding the five inch balloons, it's really starting to fill out the shape and giving it a lot more kind of fullness. Um, it actually um, is probably my favorite part of the garlands um, because it really does kind of give it that extra sort of dimension. Um, one thing that to note about the elastic rubber bands if you have to move this, if you have to transport it, um, these you know, are gonna allow you to, to kind of move things around. So if things shuffle in transit, um, just remember to hang it up, kind of rearrange everything, have a few extra rubber bands with you, um, but you can do all of this before you bring it to you know, wherever you're hanging it, um, if you have to like, bring it to an event center or somewhere that's not at home. Um, otherwise, I would get it hung where you're gonna have it, put everything up, then you don't have to fuss with it at all and it's ready to go.